Hi there, this here is a regular six gallon homebrew bucket. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how we can use this as a lighting modifier, kind of an improvised solution. And we're gonna do two different variations. So let's start with the first one, the easy one. So I'm gonna add some height here on this side and move the bucket onto this bucket here. And let's pretend this here is our subject. Now, what we're gonna do is take one of these tube lights and then stick it into the bucket. And voila, now we've got a nice diffused light, a much bigger light source here. So let's uh, take a look at this picture taken without the bucket and the other one is taken with the bucket. And as you can see, we can play around a bit more with the placement here, but you can get a really nice soft edge here. So that's the first one, the easiest one. Now the second and the most exciting way to use this bucket requires some additional work. So let's get to it. We are going to cut a hole in the bottom of the bucket, just big enough for our camera lens to poke through. And this might be a bit difficult. It's not, it's not something that's gonna be in the picture anyway. So let's just see if we can get this done. And while I'm hacking away on the bucket, here's a little BTS footage from the shoot that I did. There's the Ninja 200 behind the double silk diffusion over there. Great little light for on location shoots just like this. And on the other side, we have our bucket giving our subject this nice gradient light here. And there's a little tube light in the back as well. Okay, so now we've got a nice hole here in the center. And what we're gonna do now is grab something reflective like this beer can right here. And we're gonna place this on our surface, just like so. And then we are going to place the bucket over our subject. And we've now created like a mini light tent and we can hit this with even more light. And the light is gonna bounce around in the bucket and give us a nice even lighting on our subject. And the cool thing about this, if you're shooting something super reflective, you can sometimes have issues with the uh, material, the reflective surface on a subject picking up either you as a photographer taking the picture or something in the environment. So we won't have any of those issues if we use this method. So I'm sorry about the noise and everything in this video. This was a very, very spontaneous thing, but I'm so glad that I did this because I think it's kind of a fun idea and super DIY. So I'm kind of curious to see and hear what you think about this method, if it would be something that you would be interested in trying on your product shoots or food photography shoots or what have you. So let me know in the comment section what you think about this method. Well, with that said, I want to thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Okay, bye.